In the world of real estate, wholesaling stands out as a gateway for newcomers to dip their toes into the vast ocean of property investment with minimum initial capital. This strategy, akin to house flipping, requires a keen eye for undervalued properties and the ability to swiftly close deals. However, unlike flipping, wholesaling allows investors to earn profits without extensive renovations or long holding periods. It involves identifying properties below market value, securing them under contract, and then transferring the purchase rights to another buyer for a higher price, capitalizing on the difference. A pivotal question for many is whether forming a limited liability company is necessary for wholesaling real estate. The short answer is no, it's not a prerequisite. Yet, opting for an LLC could be a strategic move offering a layer of financial and legal protection that's hard to ignore. Especially in competitive markets like California, an LLC not only shields your personal assets from business-related liabilities, but also elevates your professional stance, potentially unlocking doors to tax benefits, business loans, and a more credible image in the real estate industry. And by the way, if you would like to get help in starting your very own LLC, then make sure to sign up with Northwest Registered Agent by clicking my affiliate link down in the description of this video. They're professionals and they'll be able to help you out with any questions you have. Plus, clicking on my link doesn't cost you anything extra and it helps me support the channel. And with that in mind, let's get started. The journey to establish a real estate LLC involves in several steps. Step number one, choose a name for your LLC. Selecting the perfect name for your LLC is your first crucial step. This name should not only reflect your business's essence, but also adhere to your state's naming guidelines, which often include ending with LLC or a similar designation. To ensure uniqueness, cross-reference your desired name with the state's business registry, avoiding any legal issues with companies of similar names. Consider the future of your business and choose a name that allows for growth, avoiding overly specific terms that might limit your scope later on. Also, think about your online presence. Checking domain availability ensures a consistent brand across physical and digital operations. Some states offer a name reservation service, securing your chosen name for a period before your official registration. This name will be the face of your business, so select something memorable, easy to pronounce, and reflective of your values and mission. Step number two, file articles of organization. Filing the articles of organization officially marks the creation of your LLC. This document requires basic information such as your LLC's name, the names of its members, and the address where it will operate. You'll also need to specify the registered agent for your LLC, someone who will handle legal documents on behalf of your company. This step is usually completed through your state secretary of state office, with many states offering online submission for convenience. The filing fee varies by state, but as a necessary investment to legally establish your business. This document is essentially a declaration of your business's existence to the state, detailing who is responsible and where it is located. Be thorough and accurate with this information as it forms the legal backbone of your LLC. Step number three, select a registered agent. Every LLC must have a registered agent, a person or entity designated to receive all legal and tax documents on behalf of the company. This agent must be available during standard business hours and have a physical address in the state where your LLC is registered. The role is crucial for ensuring that you promptly receive all legal notices, helping to protect your business from unintentional non-compliance with laws. You can choose an individual within the company, including yourself, or opt for a professional service that offers registered agent services for a fee. This decision should be based on your availability to handle such documents and your preference for privacy, as the agent's address will be public record. Selecting a reliable and trustworthy agent is vital for maintaining your business's good standing. Step number four, decide who will manage the LLC. Deciding on the management structure of your LLC is a critical decision that affects how decisions are made within the company. You can opt for member managed, where all members, owners participate in the day-to-day -day management, or manager managed, where either a member or an outsider is designated to handle the operations. This decision influences the company's flexibility and the members' involvement in the business. In a member managed setup, all owners have a say in business decisions, fostering transparency and collective responsibility. Conversely, a manager-managed structure can be beneficial if some members prefer to be passive investors or if specialized management is needed. 
This choice should reflect your business goals, the member's capacity for involvement, and the operational complexity of your LLC. Step number five, create an LLC operating agreement. An LLC operating agreement is an internal document that outlines the ownership and member duties of your LLC. It's a blueprint for how the business will be run, detailing everything from the distribution of profits and losses to the process of bringing in new members or handling the departure of existing ones. While not all states require an operating agreement, having one is highly recommended as it can override default state laws that may not be in your LLC's best interest. This agreement ensures all members are on the same page, reducing potential for conflict by clearly stating each member's rights, responsibilities, and expectations. It can be tailored to fit the unique needs of your business, providing structure and clarity as your LLC grows. Crafting this document thoroughly can save you from the future disputes and misunderstandings. Step number six, comply with regulatory tax mandates and regulations. Compliance with state and federal regulations is non-negotiable for maintaining your LLC's legal standing. Depending on your business type and location, you may need specific permits or licenses to operate legally. Additionally, understanding your tax obligations is critical. LLCs have various taxation options and choosing the right structure can significantly impact your financial health. It's wise to consult with a tax professional or accountant familiar with your industry and state laws to ensure you're meeting all requirements and taking advantage of potential tax benefits. Keeping abreast of regulatory changes and maintaining proper records will help avoid legal issues and fines, ensuring your business operates smoothly. Step number seven, file annual reports. Most states require LLCs to file annual reports to keep the state updated on key information about your business, such as your address and current members. This report is essential for maintaining your LLC's good standing with the state. Filing deadlines and fees vary, so it's important to know your state's requirements to avoid penalties or even involuntary dissolution of your LLC. The process typically involves confirming or updating the information the state has on file for your business and paying a filing fee. While it might seem like a mundane task, staying compliant with these requirements is crucial for your business's legality and operational continuity. The formation of an LLC varies by state, reflecting differing regulations and requirements. Nonetheless, the essence of an LLC lies in its simplicity and cost effectiveness, particularly appealing to startups and small businesses. By creating a separation between personal and business assets, LLCs provide a safety net against personal liability. This structure is favorable for tax reasons as well, as it avoids the double taxation faced by corporations with profits and losses passing directly to the owners. However, every silver lining has a cloud. Establishing an LLC entails navigating through paperwork, complying with state-specific mandates, and possibly higher interest rates for business loans. Additionally, operating across state lines requires registration in each state, further complicating the process. By adhering to these steps, you set a strong foundation for your real estate wholesaling business. Each step is crucial in ensuring your LLC is legally compliant, protected, and positioned for success. While the process requires attention to detail and ongoing management, the benefits of operating under an LLC, from liability protection to tax advantages, makes it a worthwhile endeavor for many entrepreneurs in the real estate industry. And don't forget that if you would like to get help in starting your own LLC, then make sure to sign up with Northwest Registered Agents by clicking my affiliate link down in the description of this video. They're professionals and they'll be able to help you out with any question you have. Plus, clicking on my link doesn't cost you anything extra and it helps me support the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.